Hi there, welcome to Doll Alchemy. In this surprise episode, uh, we're back to all things witches. Um, I managed to squeeze in one more witch doll before Halloween. The specific inspiration for this one being Halloween itself. So all of my other witches I've noticed are, um, you know, blue and black and purple. And I don't have any witches that are like orange and or black cats and pumpkins and other things that we specifically associate with Halloween, um, but applied to one of my dolls. So I went with a three layered skirt pattern so I could use all different Halloween themed fabrics that I had laying around. And because I wanted this doll to have a bit more of a womanly figure, um, I went ahead and modified the chest of this doll with epoxy sculpts. Um, and then I made uh, the pattern for her bodysuit out of tape and saran wrap. So um, you may ask why you're gonna cover up the boobs. <laughs> Why did you make bigger boobs? Um, mostly because I wanted uh, something to hold up these suspenders that I'm going to tack on uh, to the dress later. <laughs> I also uh, did a little bit more with her accessories. Uh, this doll is going to have its own jack-o'-lantern and I painted up the cobweb parts of her little shoes. And I actually made a broomstick out of a dowel and some of those scented cinnamon things that you buy uh, this time of year in the stores. I'm also just happy I got to use up um, some tiny little earrings and uh, other beads and Halloween things that I've had in my stock for a long time. I also, I did not make this hat. I bought this hat in Joanne fabric and then I added, um, you know, trim and um, little accessories to it. So here's what the body looks like so far with her clothes and her accessories. So I chose this Raven Queen uh, head. She's one of the later gens. Uh, I really liked her under lashes, so I kept them and I removed the rest of her factory makeup with 100% acetone. And after a few coats of Mr. Super Clear, I blushed her face with soft pastels and uh, chalk pastels and also added in um, her eyebrows and her eyeshadow with watercolor pencils. I picked candy corn as the color scheme of her eye makeup and I'm painting her lip uh, a dark red since I don't really have any red uh, factored into this costume at all. I also wanted her to have bright green eyes um, kind of like the stereotype of an all-black cat with vibrant green yellowish eyes. I punched up the shimmer factor with some metallic and shimmer acrylics over top. I am struggling drawing the inner lashes along her top lash line and uh, I glued in falsies for the other half. I popped in some uh, ghost earrings to her ears and I glossed her eyes and her lips with um, Liquitex varnish and I gave her a bit of a trim Here she is. Uh, I decided after a week of debating to name her Willa, the Halloween witch. And this is her 
finished product photo shoot. I didn't really spend any time focusing on her hat, but you're gonna get a decent enough view of it now. Um, the leaves on her hat are made from um, fake leaves, like autumn leaves that I just had around. And then uh, she has some bits and bobs up there too, uh, an orange skull, um, a candy corn, an orange flower. This was a tiny little bat earring that I turned into a ring. It skews all the smudges on the hat. Anytime I touched it, it picked up, uh, I guess, my fingerprints, uh, and it really stuck out. But yeah, that's enough of my rambling. I hope you all have a happy Halloween, and thanks for stopping by. Tune in next time. Thanks.